everyone, it's Kaylin from Lake Hope State Park and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about one of our resident animals at the Nature Center, the gray rat snake. So the gray rat snake is uh, going through or has gone through some changes recently with the name. A lot of people know this snake by the term black snake or black rat snake or eastern rat snake, even some other names. But if you want to be current with the type of snake that this is, you call it a gray rat snake right now. That could change maybe a little bit later on as they continue to examine the DNA of the species. So the rat snakes, of course, love to eat rats and all sorts of rodents. They're great at climbing, so you might even see them on the edge of a tree, climbing up to get birds, bird eggs, maybe baby squirrels. Uh, chipmunks are another animal that they might like to eat. They can eat things that are about twice the width of their head. So for this snake in particular, we might be able to accommodate something about three inches across or so. Uh, the way that they can eat something that is much larger than their head is by uh, opening their jaw and popping it out of place. So if you place your fingers right here in front of your your ear, you're going to be able to feel your own jaw moving around. They'll pop that out of place and then, of course, they also, in their chin, don't have a bone that goes straight across and that can accommodate by stretching out a little bit more too. So generally, it's kind of like us eating a basketball or a watermelon full size all in one bite, a really big bite. And of course, they don't pick apart their food. They do eat it all in one go. So if you look really closely at the snake, you can see its tongue is constantly sticking out. That means that it's smelling its environment. When the snake sticks its tongue out and wiggles it around, it's picking up little particles in the air that are telling it what's nearby. So maybe there's something tasty, maybe there's something scary, and depending on how many particles are on the tongue and what side those particles are on is going to determine how far away or where it is in the landscape. Do you think snakes tie themselves in knots? This one is looks like it's trying, right? But actually, even though it looks like it's in a knot, they're always able to sort of unravel themselves. They have lots and lots of muscles, lots and lots of vertebrae, that help them to climb up into rafters to get into ceilings and get to forage for food, those rodents that hide in those little nooks and crannies of barns and shelter houses and places where other animals like cats can't get to them. If you're afraid of snakes, I encourage you to come and stop by the Nature Center to learn a little bit more about them. Uh, it's always okay to have a little bit of a healthy fear for some animals, but we definitely want you to take care of these animals um, because they're important in the ecosystem. So if you want to learn more about the rat snakes or any other snakes and reptiles and amphibians that we have here at Lake Hope, be sure to check out one of our cold blood programs this summer or throughout the rest of the year. Until next time, everybody stay happy and healthy.